Let them with the tapa. Tapa is uh, basically tapa. I will tell few words about tapa. So tapa is a uh, basically Punjab folk form, and it was a folk song in erstwhile Punjab, which was Multan and Baluchistan, now which is in Pakistan. So the Kemal traders of that particular region. They used to sing while they are trading, they are traveling on camels, and they used to sing the uh, contemporary uh, couple song like the love stories of Sumani Mahiwal, Meer Ranja, and uh, since somehow the naturally the voice of these singers in that particular region was shrill and very wavy, very flexible. So and. Also, while traveling on camels, you might have seen how camels walk. So, while traveling on camels, there were there were natural jumps. So, tappa literally means jumps. So, it the form in itself has jumps and faster movements. It is uh, the elaboration is uh, with small small segments of tan, faster uh, phrases. I'll just show one tappa. <clears throat> like Tumri, there are two gharanas of Tappa. One is Banaras and another is Gwalior, where I belong to. The Banaras Tappa is somehow more flexible, flexible in the sense it has more, uh, it gives more liberty regarding the Tal pattern. Whereas the Gwalior pattern is very strict in uh, Tal pattern. So when I learned the Tappa, it is composed in Punjabi Theka of Teen Tal, which is Dha Pra Dhi. It goes like Dha Pra Dhi Pra Dhin Dha Ye Na Dhi Pra Dhin Ta Pra Ti Pra Dhin Dha Ye Na Dhi Pra Dhin. It goes in off the uh, beats are in the way it goes, they are in off tone. So, I am not singing in Punjabi right now because one has to practice each composition in Punjabi tal, and there was a rule that the first uh, part, which is Thai, should come in one avartan, one cycle of the tal, and Antra should come in one cycle. So, unless and until the voice is very very flexible, one cannot do that. I am singing without tal. Okay. <coughs> In Raghu Bhairavi. My throat is not working well, but I will try. Oh uh -huh. 
जे कर 